Hello from the chicken coop. I'm thinking of a name for my coop. Actually, I have one, but not going there. There they go fighting over clover. I don't know why they love that stuff so much, but they do. So here's the updates on what we have done. As you can see, we have put down some peat moss because I've been researching, you know, how to keep the chicken run clean and how to, uh, you know, avoid odor. So this was one of the ways. So um, we have peat moss down. Guys, no joke. I did not know peat moss was that expensive. So this is, uh, there's some in the front, but I'm not going to go up that way. I just have it here and then up under the coop and then I have it in the front. And then over here is some yarrow. I already had that. I had two of those. I was reading on what herbs you can plant in the run that are good for the chickens. And at first I didn't have anything around it. Well, my husband put down some tiny little like rocks to go around it and they just went through there and flicked all of them up. So we went and my sons and I got the bricks. So there's the yarrow. There's just the log so that we can roll it over if there's bugs or anything up under it. And there she's enjoying the clover there and they're all fighting over it. I have some up in the garden and one of my pots I need to go pluck out and give them. This is some thyme. It's very tiny so it's had to be covered very well. There's some thyme. Actually, I am correct, and I feel embarrassed as a gardener. That is rosemary. Okay, then right here we have some thyme. That's thyme. There are the girls. So if you're wondering what kind they are, uh, those two there are golden lace wind dots. And then that one right there, that's a Sussex. And there's the other girl over there. The children have named them. And I'll see if I get this right. I think this one is... Uh, Pretty sure this is uh, Talon, and then the small one there is Midget, and then I still kind of get the wind dots uh, confused a little bit. So, all right, back to the run. So over here, we have some bee balm, and guys, all these things were already in my garden, so all I had to do was just transplant them. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. Over here, we have some basil, and you want to Google what kind of herbs you can, your chickens can and cannot eat. I already had this, so I put this on the outside. My husband put some lights around here. And he's going to get ready and put up some more lights uh, later. Because we are getting more chickens September the 25th. So everybody anticipate that date like I am. September the 25th, more chickens. And then here is peppermint that is recovering. And the peppermint and the bee balm, people say that that keeps the flies down and helps with the smell. And then um, let's back up a little bit. So there's the artwork there. And then that says what breeds of chickens. And I want to get some more, but not right now. I mean, that's enough for now. But they are really loving the space. And it just looks better and cleaner than just a regular dirt. So. Then this is the front, and I put down diatomaceous earth, but I use food grade diatomaceous earth because you can't use the other kinds, the regular kind with chickens. And um, I just have that all around because you don't want a stinky run or a stinky coop. And so, guys, that's it. Um, that's the update on what's going on here. We just went on ahead and, uh, you know, made this more sustainable for them. And more cleaner for us, so well, cleaner for them as well. So that's the update.